Hi everyone, I'm here to take you on a quick tour of Value Stream Maps. With Value Stream Maps, you can examine the flow of information and materials through the value stream. These maps show all the value added and non value added work needed to create the products or services that meet customer needs. You can follow a four part process to evaluate your workflow with a value stream map. First, you create a current state map of your process as it is today. This helps you to identify, reduce, or eliminate any of these seven wastes. Addressing the waste in your process helps you create an improved future state map. Finally, as you implement your future state map, it becomes your current state map and the process starts all over again as you cycle through your continuous improvement efforts. Now let's look at creating a value stream map for the finishing department of a furniture manufacturer. Just a quick tip here. You could consider creating a detailed process map before you create a value stream map. Doing that first may help you better identify the value stream. Next, let's open a four process value stream map template. The value stream map is made up of these sections. The multiple steps in the complete value stream of the product, the timeline and summary box that contain the auto-generated values that appear when you fill in values for the process and inventory shapes, the customer demand box, which generates the tack time of the process, and finally, the task pane, where you can enter and modify values for the map. Let's start in the task pane to enter values for this map. Here's the scenario. The furniture manufacturer runs three eight-hour shifts. Each shift has a 30-minute break for lunch and two 10-minute breaks for a total of 50 minutes each, which leaves 21 and a half hours of work time per day. The customer demand is for 75 pieces a day. A quick look in the customer demand box shows that the manufacturer needs to produce one complete piece every 0.28 hours, or about every 17 minutes. Now, let's jump ahead and see the map after some adjustments. Even though I made changes to some of the material and information flows, there's no data yet on these shapes or in the timeline. To add data, I'll click this process shape, and in the task pane, enter the cycle time. When I do that, the data appears next to the shape and on the timeline. Total cycle time above the line, value added cycle time below. As I make changes, you'll notice the timeline summary box begins to fill in at the same time. Now, let's look at the completed map which represents the current state map of the process. The next step is to identify areas where improvements can be made, and that's represented by these Kaizen Bursts. By creating a future state map, you can see the improvements from the changes that were made. Value stream maps make it easy to focus your attention on the key improvement opportunities within the value stream. For more information and videos, go to www.minitab.com.